Hi there! I'm Czech Ozan! And... <laughs> yes, I'm Czech Ozan. And welcome to episode number 6 of Dessert the Desert. It's been a while since um, I put out a video in this series, but that doesn't mean that nothing has happened. Because I have been doing a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, uh, I know I say that in almost every episode, but n it's really, really true in this episode. It's been true in the others too, but uh, in this one we can really, really talk about uh, that I have been doing some extensive work uh, in between episodes. Um, it's going to take me half this episode just to tell you about it. <laughs> nah, probably not. But I'm going to have to tell you about it. The things I have done... Well, I've changed the tree farm a little bit. Made it uh, wider and uh, not so far that way, but we'll come back to that. <laughs> the most important thing I've done is I have... Extended my garden. Look at that. If you saw the last episode, you know my garden ended, I don't know, about here. And all of this I'm showing now was sand. All of that was sand. And it's not only did I cut out the sand and put the grass, it was a bit high too here. So I had to cut out a lot of sand. And of course, all the way here. And this over here, this uh, hill, uh, this start of this hill was sand, and this hill was sand. And I've turned it all into grass. The desert is definitely deserted here. Look at this. This is <laughs> wow. That took a long time, I tell you. Uh, and it took a lot of dirt. So I've been up to the mountain and cutting down a lot of dirt. And right over here somewhere, there were lava. And uh, uh, so I poured some water into the lava and uh, got obsidian. And as you understand now, uh, getting rid of that obsidian, I did with a diamond pickaxe. Because uh, I wanted that obsidian. Because maybe I'm going to the nether. Uh, in a future episode. So I wanted to keep the obsidian, so I made a diamond pickaxe. But, I only had two diamonds, right? <laughs> Can't make a diamond pickaxe out of two diamonds. So what did I do? I went down in the mines, and I started mining. And I mined it for like five minutes. And what do I find? I find eight diamond ores connected to each other. Eight. How often do you do that? And after five minutes of mining, I found eight. So now I have seven diamonds. Because, you know, I had two, found eight, and used three on the pickaxe. That you can see right here. Look at this beautiful diamond pickaxe. Uh, so now I have seven more diamonds. And I saved some of the lava, if we might need it later. Uh, you see, and you see here, 27 obsidian. Can make more than one portal. <laughs> Alright, it's soon night. Uh, before it turns out night, look at this! I have made a basement. Because I really needed it. I had sand all up here and here and, you know, I really needed a basement to place the things I don't use as much. Uh, I'm going to show you the basement as soon as it becomes day and it's time to go to bed. And, and, here we go. So, I kept uh, these boxes up here uh, for the things I use most and need most. And then down in the basement. Here we go. <laughs> My small little basement, who's actually bigger than the house. Uh, I made some cauldrons, if I want to make uh, a lot of, uh, if I want to smelt a lot of stuff at the same time. Uh, I made one for coal, sandstone, and look, 
sand. <laughs> uh, all those are full of sand and almost all three of them. There's no sand there yet, but <laughs> there will be as we continue to cut down on the desert. So, we got a little sand corner over here. And sandstone and wood, wood made of stone and glass. I made a lot of glass and in the next episode, I believe, episode number seven, we will be using that glass to create something. But, not in this episode. Uh, hang on, there was one more thing I did. Uh, you see the sheep here? Uh, I'm, I'm, I took all the non-white sheep and uh, killed most of them. <laughs> And put the rest of them in uh, this little one. So we have light gray, gray, and black sheep there. And all white sheep there. And there is a reason that there is all white sheep there. It's because I need a lot of white wool. Yes, I know I said after making the airstrip... I said it's gonna take a long time before I make something out of wool. Uh, but... <laughs> well, I just couldn't help myself because I really wanted to build um, the thing I'm gonna build in this episode. Which you already know if you read the name of the episode. Um, I really wanted to make a swimming pool right next to my house. So, for that, I needed a lot of white wool. So, I've made a lot of white sheep, as you can see. And here. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, there we go. And another one. And, you know, as it was before, when you done all of them, someone eats. So, I can stay in here all day. But I won't do that. Uh, and I made some other... Oh, I forgot one extremely important thing that I did. I have made some chicken. <laughs> uh, chicken, that tastes so good. I really love chicken. And I made some of them. And I got a lot of eggs too. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, isn't that great? Um, <laughs> so, two business. In this episode, I was going to build a swimming pool. And I have no idea if I have enough white wool. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough white wool. Uh, but I'll take it. And if I don't have enough, I'll just pause the video like I did last time and wait for the sheep, uh, which was extremely boring to do. Uh, so, I moved my uh, sugar over there, so I can build my swimming pool. I thought I would build it right here. Uh, well, we already got some water, so you don't have to th think about that very much. Uh, and I will cut off here. Whenever the swimming pool ends, I will cut it off. And this one will still be a little pond over here. And you will not be allowed in my swimming pool, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Squid. So if you want to survive, you should swim over there. Didn't I have two squids in here? I guess they died. One of them died. Uh, okay. So, how to build a swimming pool. Um, I've actually built one. On creative, not on, not on this world, because I'm not a creative on this world. Uh, I did not allow cheats on this world. But I had another world, uh, creative world, where I actually built a swimming pool. Because I didn't want to waste, uh, well, you don't waste the wool, you can share it, you can take it again, of course. But I didn't want to go back and forward and do it. Blah, blah. So, therefore, I decided to. Uh, make it on creative and here we go um, I don't know where it's gonna start. I might have to take away this row and make more trees over there Because uh, I want to use as much of this water as possible uh, I'm gonna need dirt here too to fill in some of the water I guess or maybe I'll just do it with the wool. Okay, so the It's gonna be five 
at the edge before the pool itself starts, and then it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be five all around, and then the pool in the middle is gonna be eleven times nineteen. I, I thought that looked the best when I did it, and it's the you know right size for my little place here. So uh, why don't we get started? Um. Let's see, if I do it one, two, hum, it's going to be three deep, I believe, and it's one deep as it is right now, so mm, it's going to be two deeper and two there, that's, that's, that's the right size then, I believe, and let's see here, that's three. Four, five. So that's the length. It's gonna be right here, and it's gonna be. What did I say? I said one, two, three, four, five, and then it's gonna be eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then another five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm really hoping this is right. There we go. And this is the edge. It's the edge of the world. No, it's the edge of the swimming pool. And I did not bring the shears, did I? No, I did not. I'm gonna have to get the shears. Because that's probably not gonna be the first time I make a mistake like that. Okay, so all of those four rows are going to be wool as well. Let's see here. Cut out some uh, dirt here. There we go. And that's going to be wool. I understand if you don't understand how the pool is going to look right now, but I'm sure you will understand why when I'm finishing it, and uh, I hope you will like it. Um, I'm also going to have a little bar at my swimming pool, a little bar where you can buy some drinks, some soft drinks, and um, yeah, I think when I did it in creative, that bar looked pretty cool. So. Uh, uh, first I wasn't gonna have one, but uh, as I said, I thought it looked pretty cool, so I'm definitely gonna have one. Okay, here we go. So this is the edge of the pool on this side. And I'm gonna have a little edge like this. Like that. You have to be able to walk around outside the pool, right? So, this is where the po actual pool starts. Um, of course, I should do the road. I should do all the way around uh, before I start digging out the pool, I think. So, that was five, right? Five. And then it's going to be the actual pool starting out there but it's gonna be edge here and that that was gonna be 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 wow look at that I'm sure yeah, I did not intend to do that it was perfect that way it was perfect almost perfect this way uh, that was not my I I did not count that on four, and I promise, even if it looks like <laughs> the sun is going down. And of course, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five for the edge. Uh, and then one, two, and that's three, four, five. So this is going to be the edge on this side. And then I'm going to have an edge here and an edge there, as you already understand. And then the pool in the middle. Uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I guess we'll see. And as the sun is going down, I'm definitely gonna sleep. 
Don't want to work with a bunch of uh, monsters lurking. So I'm going to put my bed down here and do some slapping. Yes, and we're up again. And uh, let's cut out some more of this dirt. Swim around in the water. Well, when you got a swimming pool, you can't really be afraid of water, can you? I re I'm, I was a little bit worried, and I still am a little bit worried about how the water is going to work when once I do it deeper. And well, we'll see that. You want the water to look good, of course, in the pool. So I hope, um, I'm hope it's gonna do. It's gonna look good. I hope. There we go. And four, five. So this is gonna be wool all over here too. Um, and I'm gonna stand here right here and do it. I think. I don't want to do it too fast because I don't have the shears. I don't want to make a mistake here. I should go get the shears, I guess. That would be one solution. Uh, I wonder how much this this wool is going to last pretty long. But of course, I'm going to have wool inside the pool as well. Can't be sand on the pool bottom. So I'm going to have wool all the way on the inside. Which is going to make it uh, so I need a lot of wool. Here we go. And the squid is swimming in the future pool. Move! Stupid squid. You're in the way, idiot. Move! Oh, he's angry now. Look at him. He's not gonna move. I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry. Guess I don't have any squids in this pond anymore. I will over... There's the squid over there, I think. I'm gonna have to uh, keep him now. And the last row before the pool. The actual pool. Here we go! Awesome! And of course, I need the edge. The edge of the pool. No, sorry. He no! Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes! I'm gonna continue to do this all the way around and uh, get my shears and perhaps shear some more sheep. And once I'm done and I'm gonna start digging out the pool and uh, do the other things that's gonna be here, uh, I'll come back. So, see ya very soon for you. And not so soon for me. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, I did the entire around here as you see. And I filled in some water there and there. And uh, just waiting for the grass to grow. No, I'm not standing here waiting for the grass to grow. But uh, it's going to be grass there of course. And so here we go. There's my little pool. And I'm going to have the bar, as I was talking about, it's going to have over here. So it's probably going to, I'm going to have to extend the area a little bit here uh, with some more wool to do the bar. Uh, and then I'm going to have some uh, <laughs> uh, chairs uh, to, um, you know, to sit in the sunbathing. And I'm gonna have uh, myself a couple of um, springboards. Are they called springboards? You know, where you go up and jump in the water. Uh, and it's not gonna be one deep, because then you dump off and you can break your neck. So I'm gonna have to make it deeper. And the problem is, of course, I want it to be wool here. Uh, and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. Maybe it would have been easier to have no water, uh, but I'm not sure how. Then I would have to run a lot of water in here. So I'm gonna try and do it this way, and it might be totally failed, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, so make it one deeper, I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem. Uh, you can just stand on the parts that aren't. So we go like this. Sand, yeah. 
Digging out sand, isn't that great? I have hardly been, been doing that at all in this world. Digging out sand, I have no idea what that's like. So, it's too deep, and then it's gonna be one more, one deeper. Only, but the problem is I'm gonna have to dig out the bottom too and uh, turn it into wool and also the side of the walls of, of course are going to be wool so um, I probably don't have enough wool I'm gonna have to go uh, and skin some sheep maybe it would have been easier if I would have just you know done it like this I should have done it like that from the start shouldn't I that's how deep it's gonna be. It's not gonna be that deep, but at the bottom there is gonna be wool. And I don't care about picking up this sand, by the way, if anyone was wondering. I will probably pick it up, and not. but if I miss some of it, I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> so this is how deep... I'm gonna make it right here. And uh, I'm gonna cut out like this the entire pool, and uh, I'll be back when, once that's done. And uh, we can start building the fun stuff, you know, the really not the so laborious uh, just building, uh, uh, digging stuff, uh, but really the building part. Uh, I'll be back for that, so see you very soon. And we're back, and I have, as you see, filled in the entire pool with wool. Yay! And I have to say, it looks pretty good. Um, <laughs> if I may say so myself. Um, one problem I noticed that we are gonna have is that the squids uh, for some reason like my pool they like it so much that they like to spawn uh, in my pool and uh, I'm not quite sure if there's anything you can do about that uh, if you know there is a way to stop them from spawning but it's really really weird I, I must say I don't understand and I don't know how it works because I had like five squids spawning in my pool and I didn't kill anyone and then when I came back there were three uh, and the way I see it there is no way out of this pool I don't see any holes anywhere so I have no idea and uh, now there are squids over there uh, so yeah it's really really weird and I'm not sure if there's anything you can do about it so uh, I added uh, two more rows over here and an extra row up there uh, because this is where I'm gonna build my little bar my little mini, mo mini bar so uh, um, that's why I did that uh, first though I'm gonna build the diving boards uh, and I'm gonna make it very simple uh, just make it up like this uh, like that and you have to be able to get up just like that and you go up and we you jump in the water okay but you can't have just one what if there are more of you so of course I'm gonna have a few more um, how many am I gonna have if I have one there one there nah now nah, I'll make quite many of them I think huh one two three four am I gonna have five of them I'm gonna see how it looks and if I think it's too many, I might uh, remove some of them and move them like that. And there we go. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall in the pool. You might get wet. And boom, boom. Boom. Here we go. Boom. Boom, is this too many? What do you think? Is this too many diving boards? Yeah, I think that's too many. That doesn't look good. Or? Hmm, no, I don't want that many. Uh, so I'm gonna have to think about how I'm gonna do that. 
Let's remove the wool here completely and let's make the shares and uh, and I'm gonna have to dive in the water to get this wool back because I really really want this wool I don't have that much this is actually the wool you see there is actually all the wool I have left uh, and I've had to shear the sheep a couple of times as well um, fine well you know how the diving boards are gonna look like and um, I'll see how I will make them soon uh, but I will also have small little chairs and I really wanted to make them in a more fun color than gray gray is probably the most dull color you can have right but the problem is I don't have any wool that's uh, the right color that's any other color than gray or black or white I, I don't want to make them white and black did not look good so for now they're gonna be gray uh, but I'm gonna change that eventually uh, when I have other wools and it's not gonna be great I could make them in wood but I, that didn't look good either and stone did not look good so they're gonna have to be like that for now and I'm gonna make those chairs much more of them around here and uh, over here at the bar yes and for the bar, I'm gonna need some uh, some birch wood. I want to make the bar out of. So uh, I'll be back again when I set the diving boards and the chairs around, and I'm gonna start building the mini bar. So see ya all very soon. And here we go, back again. And I made four little sun chairs and I dived in the pool <laughs> it's so fun diving in the pool that I had to do that uh, and I made three instead of five and I think that looks much much better to have just three diving boards over there uh, so almost finished here the only thing missing is the mini bar and uh, that's what we're gonna build right now uh, so I figured the mini bar would look a little something like this. Let's see if I can make it right the first time for once and not have to rebuild. That's your one, two, three, four, five. That's right. So I think it's going to be right here, I think is right. And all along like this. Is that five? I wanted five wide. Yes. That's five. I could count to five. That's uh, amazing. And here we go, like that. And then I want it. Uh, let's see. I think I did it like. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's not right. Uh, let's see how I did it. Oh, I know now. I know now. Uh, you should have a little roof here instead. Like that and I want one there it was so much easier on creative <laughs> let's just make a little bridge here and I want um, one on top like that and then I'm gonna have stairs uh, not there but there and there and there and then the same thing on this side and I think it's going to look pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. Um, 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 stairs there, there, and there. Yay, I take away this. So this is going to be the front of the minibar. And then, of course, it's going to have to have an inside where you can stand. And you're going to have to have a place to put the things that you're gonna serve the drinks and stuff so I think I'm gonna do it like that and I'm gonna need a couple of gates to get in and out so there won't be people who don't belong there uh, walking in and here we go that's the minibar and uh, so anyone who works here just goes in and stands here and serve the drinks and they can make the drinks and have them over here and uh, yeah and I think we're gonna make a little sign here 
so people will know uh, what it is and uh, uh, you can hear by cold beverages cold beverages uh, for how much it's pretty expensive down at the pool isn't it I'm gonna make it four dollars so here you can buy cold beverages for four dollars yay so that's the mini bar. <laughs> Uh, this my this is my mini pool uh, with some mini chairs and mini diving boards. Yay! Look at that. Uh, I wish I could have a pool party here right now, but unfortunately, I'm all alone. I guess I'm gonna have to invite some sheep uh, uh, to join me here. They ha certainly have helped me create this one, even though it's not wool, of course even though it is wool yeah so <laughs> and that's uh, pretty much it for the swimming pool and uh, I hope you liked it and um, I was pretty happy with it of course it's hard when you do it in this small scale to make it look really good but uh, I was pretty happy with it and uh, that's the way it turned out and uh, in the next episode I'm just going to show it here again for the last time. I'm going to have to put some torches up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some torches up. So uh, even though most of the time I sleep during the night, it's really nice to have some torches up. And then for the next episode, uh, episode number seven, I am going to build something uh, out of the glass I have, I believe. I, it's going to be... A really weird place I think I'm gonna make this pond a little smaller and I'm gonna have some glass around well we'll see I have no idea what it will look like but I think it's gonna be pretty fun and I must say that building this pool was the most fun uh, uh, thing I've built so far in my little world and uh, I'm quite happy with it so I hope you will leave a like for it that would be much much appreciated um, thanks thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you in the next episode goodbye waving with my bed <laughs> <laughs>